very first thing we do is we make a metal armature and we have two sculptors working on it. We have one working on the body. Another working on the head. The clay process takes about five weeks. You're slowly, slowly adding clay to the, the metal armature. Underneath, structurally, it's all correct. What we try and do is not only get all that accuracy, the likeness, but the vibrancy and the character of the person showing through as well. An old-fashioned method of getting all those details in by hand. Next process is the moulding. The figure is moulded in two parts, the head and the body separately. The head is cast in plaster, exactly the same way as it would have been done 100 or 200 years ago. The head is separated into sections with clay walls, plaster is flicked onto it and slowly, slowly you build up each individual little segment and ultimately you end up with a piece plaster mould with a plaster jacket on. And then that is taken off the clay, reassembled and the wax is poured in. Although we have eight different Lady Gargars, there are obviously some elements of her that are consistent. Her eyes and her teeth are the same for all of the figures. The eyes are made from acrylic. They have little silk threads for the veins. They're hand painted and we fit them once they're, they're made into each of the heads. Same goes with the teeth. They're made from dental acrylic. They are crafted to match hers exactly and then they are fitted inside the, the wax head. The hair and colouring process is a real skill. The hair is individually inserted. In the case of Lady Gaga, we use a combination of, sort of hair extensions, wigs, all, all manner of things in order to create the overall effect. We have an amazing group of artists. They then colour it to match exactly the skin tone. The paint is built up in layers using a number of techniques, splattering, brushing, all, all manner of different things in order to create something that is very skin-like with paint rather than makeup. We've got to create the effect of makeup on skin. So we would create the look of her real skin, then slowly, slowly build up the makeup and the effects of the makeup, lashes, eyebrow effects. You have to start off with the, the real person underneath. We make sure that each look is exactly like um, she would have it. And so say we have the eight looks, they all have to be carefully worked out, carefully um, planned in order that they work not only from a visual point of view, but from a maintenance point of view, so figures going in a, an attraction where it's going to get an awful lot of attention. Ultimately, our main job is to make sure it looks absolutely right. Rather than having one style, with Lady Gaga, obviously she has so many iconic looks and of course how on earth could you just pick one? So we have eight figures, so we have eight different styles. They're all individual, they all are exclusive to each attraction. And we've got some wonderful involvement from some designers like Armani, uh, Philip Tracy, so we're very excited. Because we've created eight Lady Gargars and it's brought its own challenges. What we've had to do is do two moulds from the same clay head in order to make sure that the casts, the wax casts from them are as good quality. On occasions the mould slightly deteriorates. We didn't want any of this so we've done multiple moulds. The head has been brought back to the surface again, remoulded so that we're sure that the eighth one is as good as the, the first one. <laughs>